Our next member is Representative Tina Wahlberger, who was elected in 2018 and has served as the Vice Chair of the Committees on Government Reform, as well as the Committee on Energy and Environmental Protection. And as the members know, uh, Representative Wahlberger has just never been hesitant to tell us exactly what she thinks about something. It's, it's actually a very good trait. Representative Hashimoto, could you please present the certificate in link? Yes, three marks. Okay, in keeping with my um, assigned attributes, um, I would like to extend obsequious adulation to everyone who provided me with any kind of support, benefit, advice, uh, camaraderie, sorority, or fraternity. Um, thank you all. I'm going to use my time, and I did time it, um, to share some thoughts about an existential issue that's happening right now on the federal level that I think is very important to have some words spoken about here on this floor. And since it hasn't happened yet, I'm going to use my time for this subject today. With the serious consequences facing 100 million women across our nation and the reality that Roe versus Wade is about to be overturned, I'd like to share some pro-life considerations. Pro-life means supporting Becky, who found out in her 20-week scan that the baby she was so excited to bring into this world developed without life-sustaining organs. Pro-life means supporting Susan, who was sexually assaulted on her way home from work, only to learn a month later that her assail assailant planted seed. Pro-life means supporting Teresa, who hemorrhaged due to placental abruption, leaving her family to make the impossible choice to save her or her in utero baby. Pro-life means supporting Kathy, who had her innocence ripped away by someone who should have, she should have been able to trust, and her 11-year-old body isn't mature enough to bear the consequence of that betrayal. Pro-life means supporting Melissa, who's working two jobs to make ends meet and has to choose between bringing another child into poverty or feeding the children she already has because their father walked out on them. Pro-life means supporting Brittany, who realizes that she is in no way financially emotionally or physically able to raise a child. Pro-life means supporting Emily, who went through IVF, ended up with six viable implanted eggs, requiring selective reduction to ensure her safety and the safe number of fetuses. Pro-life means supporting Jessica, who's finally mustering the strength to get away from her physically abusive spouse, only to find out that she's pregnant by that monster. Pro-life means supporting Vanessa, who went to her confirmation appointment after years of trying to conceive, only to hear silence where there should have been a heartbeat. Pro-life mean, pro means supporting Lindsay, who lost her virginity in her sophomore year with a broken condom and now has to choose whether to be a teenage mom or just a teenager. Pro-life means supporting Courtney, who found out she's already 13 weeks along, but the egg never made it out of her fallopian tube. So either she terminates the pregnancy or risks dying from internal bleeding. Pro-life means supporting George, who was hate raped after someone found out he was assigned female at birth and can't come out to his family, can't come out to his community or his work. Pro-life means supporting Nikki, who presents as a man and has a uterus and is intersex. He can't afford to raise a child. He can't afford time away from work to deliver an infant, recover, return to work to find he's lost his position. You can argue and say that these issues are pro-choice, but the truth is they are pro-life, their lives, women's lives, humans who have uteruses, those who identify as women and those who do not. Everyone loves someone who has had to face this choice. And I hope next year's legislature will take the decisive action to more firmly codify protections for abortion in our statutes and constitution and provide funding for neighbor island women to access that right. Because the right to privacy and body autonomy is only useful if you don't have to buy a plane ticket and fly somewhere else to get it. Maui County might as well be Mississippi. Colleagues, it's been my distinct honor and privilege to serve the people and the Aina of South Maui for the last four years, and I thank you all very much. Aloha.